How's it going everybody? So today we're going to be finishing up my fog light installation. Uh, go check out the last video where it didn't really go uh, as, as I had planned it to go, uh, but this time we're actually going to do it right, get it all finished up. So I went ahead and ordered the other one off uh, eBay here, the other PF510. Like I said in the last video, I only bought one. So here's the other one, it's ready to go. And then I also got this MIC tuning, or MIC tuning, however you say it, a uh, little switch kit wiring harness thing off of Amazon, so thanks to my friend for sending that to me, uh, Sasquatch Lights. <laughs> so it's kind of a mess of wiring right now, but he gave me some pointers and the diagram kind of simplifies it. So we're going to go ahead and try this, uh, get it all working. So yeah, I got the wires all into the rocker switch here, uh, and it is pretty simple actually. I mean the diagram on the back here tells you exactly what you need to do and which wires go where. So. That part was pretty simple, and this part, it's disconnected. This is what's going to go through the firewall and go into the cab, wherever I want it later on. Um, but yeah, this. But yeah, the next step is putting the relay in here. So we're going to go ahead and find a spot on the uh, under the hood to drill this in, and then uh, we'll start hooking up the other stuff to the battery and all that, and we'll hopefully get it all working. So let's go ahead and head out and start putting it in the car. Alright, so before we get into all the drilling and stuff with the relay and all that, uh, we'll go ahead and hook it up to the battery, plug the switch in right here, and then hook it up to one of my fog lights here, and test it out, make sure it works. So stock, uh, this little MIC tuning thing is going to have a 7.5 amp fuse in here. It, can't, they, it comes with like three different fuse choices. Uh, this one's a 15 amp, and because I have halogen bulbs, and I'm running two of them. I'm going to go ahead and use the 15 amp. Uh, that was my friend's suggestion because it'll be a little bit more draw on it. So we'll go ahead and plug the 15 amp one in and then get to work on plugging everything else in. Okay, so we got it all plugged in here, got the battery terminals in, and then uh, and then for the uh, PIA lights here, they have these pretty wide male connectors down here. And so for the female ones that come with this kit, I'm just taking some needle nose pliers and then pulling this out to widen it some and then it should slip right on top of that male connector there. And there we go. Got it all plugged in, so I guess we can uh, try to switch out and see if it works. Okay, so I went and got the key, turned it on, and that's what I get, the little Sasquatch lights. Then we turn it on here, it'll light up the little Sasquatch there. And as you can see, it works pretty well. Those PIAs are pretty bright. So uh, I'd say that's a success. So I guess we'll go ahead and hook the other one up and uh, start mounting it. Alright, so here's a, just a quick update on what you guys have just been seeing here. Uh, so I screwed in the relay here, just on the side here, pretty good little spot for it. Uh, and then I'm running the wire for the switch that goes to the firewall. Um, 
down that way as you can see it's right here you need to just fish it through there in a minute then the rest of it I'm running through between the battery and the fuse box here got the negative and positive terminals on here and then I'm running that wire down attaching it to this one zip tied it there it's going down through there and then come over here you can see that little hole where all the wires are coming out you can see the black one comes out right there and here it is so what I'll do with this is of course with this closer stuff right here I'll fish it down to that one and then for the rest of it string it out to the other side there and connect it so let's do that Okay, and there we go, we got it all routed down and around there, got it hooked up to the other fog light. That part took quite a while having to fish it all around down here, but as you can see I got it zip tied. And it shouldn't be touching the radiator or anything like that, so I'd say we're good with that part. Now I'm going to have to fish this through the firewall here and put the switch in. See how crowded it is in there. This is going to be pretty hard to squeeze that other thing in there. Okay, so it's pretty hard to see, but you can see we got the thing pulled through the firewall there. So we'll go ahead and pop out the switch we're going to use. Right there. And, and there we go. Okay, there's the finished product. Just put the wire in first, fished it down through here, and squeeze the switch in. Fits right in. Looks great. Go ahead and plug this in and call it good. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed that video. Uh, kind of a long video, but you know, I got the fog lights installed, so that's good. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Please subscribe if you want to see more 4Runner videos, and I'll see you next time.